welcome to this week's sit down video. Um, our setup is kind of bad here. I just cannot get the hang of tripods. Like, I don't know how to make it sit properly. But anyway, welcome to today's video. I hope you like it. It's today. all about my phone. It's all about my phone. It's all about my phone. It's all about my phone. My, my phone, phone is like the best case ever. Yeah, it's funny. All of our cases suit us. I'm like a black straight leather kind of girl. Gabby is all about the bling and the blue. And Sophie, what are you all about? Pink. Pink. All right, so today's video is going to be reading your comments. Because we did a reading hate comments before. And we don't want it to all be about um, hate. We want to make a video about all the comments that we loved. So I asked the girls to go on their channel and pick out um, some comments that they loved and I picked out a few. We want to let you guys know that we appreciate all your comments and that we love so many of them. So let's get on with the video. And I'm gonna start. I couldn't go on mine because it wouldn't let me. Wait, I'll, I'll help you just a second. I go second. Okay, so I'm gonna go first and I'm gonna just read comments that I loved or comments that made me think of something that I wanted to share. Um, so today, Slime Dogs, Bro, I love riding Stella. I love running. And I feel bad that she's such an energetic horse, but she always has to walk. And I was thinking about, yeah, like, I kind of feel like that too. But I also feel like when we first got Stella, she was used to somebody jumping on her, kicking really hard, and off she would shoot. And I kind of feel like proud of the fact that now she feels like she can go slow if she wants to. Like, she still likes to go fast, but... A lot of the reasons that she was going fast before, I think, were because she was afraid. And now I feel like she loves us and trusts us. Do you feel like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, me next. Okay. So Sophie wants me to read it, but she's going to re react. You got to react, okay? Um, oh, shoot. Sparkle Equine said two weeks ago, uh, Hi, Sophie. I love Stella, and I wish I had a paint horse, but I guess a gray horse is okay, right? I have a question. If you had the choice of choosing between Stella and Sabrina, what would you choose to be your horse? I couldn't decide. You couldn't decide? You They're still love Sabrina, me. huh? Mm -hmm. I still love Sabrina too. Which one would you choose? Storm. <laughs> Good answer! Um, I wouldn't be able to choose either. I love them both. I, uh, lo I just love them both. But um, yeah, gray horse is okay. She's a gray horse. It's not about what they look like. It's about the connection. Mm -hmm. Alright. Is it a boy? It's about the phone case. It's about the um, on Gabby's channel, Horse Life 712. 712. LOL. Unfortunately, he loves grass more than he loves me. That's so relatable. So uh, that was in response to Gabby saying her horse loves grass more than he loves her. Um, and some of you guys are so witty and so funny and we love your sense of humor and that is a perfect example. Recently you guys got to see that the girls had a horse camp show at the end of horse camp. It was super exciting and um, Natalie Cat Cloud, Natalie Cat Cloud said... That's her so name. That's her so name. Sophie cantered a jump, all in capital letters with a huge exclamation mark. Sophie, you cantered a jump. How was that? Amazing. Spencer was good. Yeah, she loves Spencer. And we're going to find out if she can have some more lessons on Spencer because he is really good for her while her horse is healing. Losing weight. Horse girl Lene said, Stella is so kind and sweet. We all love Stella. And we can't forget about Storm. We love Storm. Him too. We love all you guys, your guys' horses and horses. We love you guys too. So what did you think about that comment? I liked it. Yeah, she loved it. She actually is more like me and really into the comments. You guys might not know, but Sophie is a lot like me when I was little. And Gabby is a lot like... I do not know who Gabby is like. Gabby's a lot like me. Yeah, she's a lot like her. And she's a little bit of Sam in her. Sassy Sam. Uh, so another comment on our channel. Um, Lindsay Delph said, Thank you for inspiring me to take horse lessons myself. I had my first one today and it was as amazing as you guys make it seem. Like, 
everybody should ride horses. If you have the to go. If yeah, if you want to ride horses, you should try it at least once, at least twice actually, because the first time can be scary. But yeah, I am so happy that first you got time. to try horseback first riding time. and that you loved it. Yeah. All right, this is a big one for Sophia. So Sophia picked all her own comments, you guys. Um, she found one by Three Peaks, and it says. Great video, Sophie. Stella is beautiful and has such an amazing personality and charm about her. No wonder you two are a perfect match. I'm glad you explained in your video. I'm glad you explained in your video how she was checked by Fiona, the vet, and the farrier before you bought her. It's neat how they all knew she was special and only needed a little TLC. She's truly a diamond in the rough. Once her feet feel better and she drops a few more pounds, she's going to be everything and more you could wish for. Great video. Thank you for sharing Stella's story. That was a nice video that you made about Stella's stories. Do you love making videos? Yeah. Claire Posey says, this was five days ago. Claire Posey says, where I show we are not supposed to pass any rider, just circle on the rail so we don't make the person we are passing uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Great job, Gabby and Storm. What do you think of that? Good that she could jump. Little <laughs> Good. I think that she said good job to me. <laughs> yeah, not everybody says good job to you, huh? Okay, my turn. She's just grateful that somebody said good job, Gabby. Um, my turn. This way, I think that's such a good rule because a lot of times it gets crazy out there, especially with a big group of people in the ring and the people passing everywhere, everyone all over is just crazy. You guys saw recently where a horse tried to pass Storm in a show and he kicked out because the horse was cantering past him and he was shocked, I think. Um, I think that rule could probably be, would probably be a great one to have. That yep. lovely equine said, and this is two weeks ago, I wish I had a horse. They're too expensive. You girls are so lucky to have your own horse each. So what do you think? Do you think you're lucky? We kind of have to have two horses, like one horse each, one, one horse each because we will fight. Because they will fight? No! They have to have, they only could have one horse. You could only have one horse. If I said, Gabby, we are going to buy a horse, but we can only afford one horse. You guys are going to have to share. Would you it rather, would be my horse. would you rather share the horse or not have any horses? Share the horse. Lease a horse. Like no, if I said, horses. Gabby, under no circumstances can I afford two horses. Leasing a horse or anything, I can only buy us one horse. So all the money I have for, enough for. Would you rather have the horse and share or have no horse? Lease one horse. Okay, Gabby. <laughs> Shake it off, sister. If I only had enough money to buy one horse, it would be our horse, our family horse. If we had a family horse, would you share? One horse is better than no horse. One horse is better than no horse. <laughs> Chari Equestrian said, Sophia, you are beautiful, you are smart, you are inspiring, you are funny, you are thoughtful, you are caring, you are just you. That is so cute. I love that comment. Uh, what did you think about that comment? I like it. It. Yeah, are you all those things? Yes. Yeah, it's from Stasa Kaffa, and she says you guys should do a no limit tack haul. A no limit tack haul. Yeah. <laughs> finally awake. She finally wakes up in the middle of the video. She hears no limit tack haul, and she grabs my arm, and she's like, "We're, We're doing, doing it. it. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it." Okay. Jinx. I don't know. You two are jinxed. I do not know about that one because my kids can shop and a no limit tack haul would be a crazy. I think it would be a more fun for me and for Sam if we did one where we gave them a specific budget and said you can buy anything you want but you have to stay in this budget. I think no, that would be I fun. buy 5,000 shower pads. Would you like that? Hmm? We had a limit and said okay here's your limit let's see who can get the most stuff for this, for this budget. She's like, if you take me to the tech store and let me buy something, I'm game, right? Saddle pads, 5,000 saddle pads. She, she loses her comment. She <laughs> shakes her, her phone. She <laughs> shakes her phone. Oh this girl is <laughs> me, you guys. She is. She's like, quick, turn the phone on and turn the camera back on. Okay. I'm going to lose my comment. I turn the camera on. 
She looks down, her screen is black, and she looks at it, and she shakes. <laughs> what? Her screen goes black, and she's like, oh no, and she shakes her phone. She's I like, found a different one. Okay. Stella is so sweet. Who said that one? Ride every stride says Stella is oh, wait. so sweet. Mandy 2013 bar. Hey Gabby, just as a suggestion, that next time you should do something tie dye, you should get it wet first and then make it easier to put the dye in. I can't read properly. Like that is a good tip because that's what we're gonna do because we sucked and at tie dye. We failed on tie dye so bad. It was really hard to do, but if we wet it first and put it in, that might be a good solution, huh? Yeah. Britta S says, LOL, I always fail at tie-dyeing anything. Good to, to know. Him. Yeah, good to know. Except the saddle pads. Pad. Yeah, the saddle pads pad turned out Who okay. Who is this one? I have twin, um, Lexi the Equestrian. Lexi the Equestrian. Sorry if we're saying that wrong. I have 26 style pads. I need a thousand. 26 is awesome. The Mystic Briar says, Oh my god, I'm so happy and excited that Gabby decided to jump today. She's getting over her fear more and more, and I can't wait until she can jump in the show. I cannot wait until she jumps in the show, too. Gabby, I have a question. What? Um, if you jump in a show and you get no ribbons because you're not as as up on, you're, you're not as practiced on jumping as the other girls. Would that be still a good show to you? Yeah. Yeah, because you accomplished your fear, you you conquered your fear and you jumped, right, in the show? Do you think you'll be jumping in the show soon? Yeah, I think I so think too. I will. I think Gabby is about to do her in last the show. Other show, like in the last show, um, <coughs> in the last show, um, which is in September. I think I'm gonna be jumping. Yeah, so she might jump in the next show. She might, and I think that I, be in you would still group. do hack too. Would you still do hack too? Yeah. yeah, she still continue with her hack and try and beat her personal best. But I think it would be really cool to work towards that. Work toward jumping cross rails. Was there a cross rail division? Uh. Short Sophie stirrup. did that, so you wouldn't be able to do that. Short stirrup. Short it's cross stirrup. Rails. She yeah. She does poles. So. Okay, yeah. So do you think that that would be awesome to like work towards that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. But anyway, Sophie's gonna do one more comment, and we're gonna end this video because it gets really long. And I have to apologize for Miss Grouchy Gus over here. I have breakfast. She did not eat breakfast, and she has no get up and go in her body at all until she eats breakfast. She's funny and this girl already funny. ate breakfast. She's got all the get up and go. Okay, Taylor, Taylor Kristoff says, Sophie is so grace, grateful. grateful for her things and she just makes my day. Are you grateful for everything you have? Yeah, me too. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for our horses, for our barn. I'm so grateful for all of our family and we are so grateful for you guys too. We don't always get to say it, but all of your comments are such a big part of our videos without them um it's not the same it would be boring and it would just be us but because you guys comment and play such a big part in our lives it's like we have all of you guys with us supporting us and egging us on and i think that that is amazing so we will see you guys um the next time we might do another video uh um reacting to comments a reacting to comments videos and reacting to hate comments yeah you like those ones best yeah. All right. Well, maybe you could do a hate comment video on your channel. Mm -hmm. Are so grateful for you guys. Keep the comments coming, and we'll be doing another video like this on our channel. And the girls are going to do some reacting videos on their channel. Gabby is dying to do a reacting to hate comments video on her and channel. And I am dying and to do another one of these videos. Yeah, Gabby and Sophie wants to do another love video. Um, Gabby is hate. changing and growing so much right now that um, she has her own whole totally different personality. And I think it's cool that she wants to react and make her own video with her own style. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.